Shalom, shalom. This is Kaparya, <clears throat> aka Pops, out of gym at Chicago, with another sit down. Before I get started, though, like always, I want to send all praises, honor, and glory out to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakodash, to the apostles and elders of gym masters in New York, the apostles that's out here in Naptown. With the brothers in uh in Naptown that's coming up there to Chicago. And the elder bishop that's out of Connecticut want to send double honors because they do real well. But the brother around the world pushing this truth uncut on filter, giving you the good, the bad, and the ugly of the scriptures, correctly breaking down the prophecies and interaction with the people and the planet, the clan warned it. I send salutations. For the hopeful elect, I hope this is in light. Uh, 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 I hope this is uh, edifying for the aqua, the few and the true. There's listeners to say the chair to keep doing so, but for scorners call for reprobate two third Israelites, 17 other nations who are in the midst of Jacob's trouble, it is going to get a whole lot worse. And it is getting worse. Okay. We see the we see this now, an announcement. Okay. What is it? Pop culture. Boom, boom, boom. NFL coach. An NFL coach that did something to help inspire others. Inspire. So they want to um, inspire. They want to, um, just look that word up, inspire. Look that word up, inspire. Okay. Okay, so here we are looking at the word inspire. So he wants to inspire, fill someone with the urge or ability to do or feel something, especially to do something creative. His passion for romantic literature inspired him to begin writing. Similar, stimulate, motivate, cause. So he wants to inspire someone to, to be filled with the urge or ability to do or feel something. To be like him. Okay. What it means. So now let's go back over here. Okay. And if her coach comes out as, you see the word. Because see, I'll say it. And then I get dinged for it, but they can put it in the thing and no problem. An NFL, an NFL coach did something to help inspire. You heard what you saw what inspire means? Others. Kevin Maxson, an associate strength coach for the Jacksonville Jaguars, became the first male coach in the NFL and American profession and American men's professional sports in general. To publicly come out as Maxon recently spoke to Outsports and explained why he decided to do it now. Okay, I don't want to feel like I have to think about it anymore. Max said, "I don't want to feel like I have to lie about who I am or why am I living with someone else. I want to be vocal in support of people living how they want to live." But I also want to just live and not feel and not feel fear about how people will react. All right, guess what? Fuck what people think. How about how the Lord acts? How the Lord's gonna think? Let's deal with that part of it. Let's deal with that part of it. Okay. Let's go and deal with that part of it. Uh Okay, so what does the Lord say on it? Let's let's deal with that part of it first. Uh twenty one. Nah, I think that's if a man be bought and sold. Uh yeah, twenty one and sixteen, I think that's yeah, if a man be found in your hands. No, but I okay. I 
Let's see. Okay, here we go. 20. All right, cool. Um, so this is what the Lord says. 20 and 13. If a man also lies with mankind as he lied with a woman, both of them have committed and a what? And they shall surely be put to what? Their blood shall be upon them. That's how the Lord feels about it. That's what his word says. And sample. Let's look that up. Let that come up. Let's do it one better. I'm going to do it this way. Here we go. Second Peter two and six. Okay, so now we go start at four. For if Yahweh spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into the chains of darkness, to be reserved unto judgment, and spared not the old world, but saved Noah the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly and turning the ashes of Sodom and Gomorrah in, into ashes, condemned them with the overflowing, making them an example to those that after should live ungodly. So he said basically on, on that part about Sodom and Gomorrah, this is what I think about it. It says, I'm, I'm the same yesterday, today, and forever. I change not. Uh, that's Romans. Get it this way. Change not. C-H-A-N. I just pull up something and then go there to it. Three and three and then put in change now. Change not. Oops. Oops, sorry about that, folks. Hit it one too many times. Change not. Malachi. Malachi 3 and 6, for I am Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Okay. Change not. Change not. Okay. You change not. Same. Yesterday. Pull that up. 
that I was shy, my shock the same yesterday, the same yesterday, and today, and forever. So, the Lord isn't changing. Yahweh doesn't change. Yahweh Shai doesn't change. And since Yahweh Shai said that he brings the word of Yahweh, neither one of them is changing their stance on that. Okay? Neither one of them. So, this man wants to inspire what? For what reason? Because this is, this is how he feels. This is who he wants to be. And, and he's a strength coach. So now, for how uncomfortable is it going to be to walk around the locker room now? You pumped iron. You done worked up a sweat. You've been in, you're, you're a professional athlete. So you can spend three, four, five hours in a weight room pumping iron during the off season. That's what you do. You get through, you go take a shower, okay? You take you, you take a shower, you throw your you throw your 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 workout gear, you throw your workout gear on the side as you step into the fucking shower, you grab a towel or whatever, and this that and other, but now you gotta walk through the locker room and this guy here can be in there. Right? Right? Let me see. Where is this? Because they had a picture of this cat in here. There he is. I want to be vocal and support of people living how they want to live. But I also want to live and not, and not fear. So he don't want to fear. But it says the, the, the fear of the Lord is beginning of wisdom. Right? What it says, let's go there. The fear of the Lord is beginning the wisdom. You pull that up. The fear of the Lord is beginning the wisdom. That's what it says. Let's see. Proverbs 1 and 7, the fear of your house is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. The fear of your house is the beginning of knowledge. He wants to live without fear. But you, you heard what he said about how people who live like this, based on Solomon and Gomorrah, he changed not. So, what, so this guy wants to live without fear, not understanding that not understanding what? What's the word I'm looking for? What's the thing I'm looking for? The imagery. Not understanding that this is what's coming to America. And those people that want to live like that. This is what's coming. This is what the Lord said he's going to bring. So he wants to live his life. And it's more important for him to be able to live that way than to than to have the fear of the Lord and, and, and do the law, statutes, and commandments and miss this. This is him. This is, this is what our people choose. This is how they want to live. This is how they want to go. The storehouses shall be emptied they're talking about the nuclear weapons. As a matter of fact, let's get that. Let's get that. Let's see. Let's see if it's going to come up like this. Let's 
still have. Start Jeremiah 50 and 24. Now I'm starting 23. Start at 22. A sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder? Who is the hammer? That's, that's this Edomite. Who, who's at the top of the food chain on it right now? America. So that's the hammer. That's the one that's got over 800 garrisons in everybody else's land. So the Lord is going to say, let me show you what I'm going to do to him. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How is Babylon become a desolation among the nations? Desolation. Destitute. Nothing. Go be worth nothing. I have laid a snare for thee and thou art also taken, O Babylon, and thou was not aware, and thou wast not aware, thou art found, and I also caught because thou hast striven against Yahweh. The Lord, uh, Yahweh hath opened his army and hath brought forth the weapons of his indignation. For this is the work of Yahweh, power of hosts, in the land of the Chaldeans. A fucking big, okay? But, but the Chaldeans just represent slavery. Slave, okay. Period. Come up, come against her from the uttermost border. Open her storehouses. Cast her up as heaps and destroy her utterly. Let nothing be, let, let nothing of her be left. Destroy it. Turn into a desolation. This hasn't happened yet. But here rather be more concerned about being able to do the things he want, not dealing with uh, the fact that the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked because the faces of the judges they are. If not, when, who is he? So the Lord explained who he is. And then sarcastically ask the question. I'm telling you who he is, but if he's not, then you tell me who he is. This man has got destruction coming. And this one here wants to be joined hand in hand with him. So he's got destruction coming. Okay? He's got destruction coming too. Simple. I ain't going to make it long. Don't have to go far. This is what this guy wants he don't want to fear. He don't. He don't want to live in journey. He know that he ain't, he shouldn't be living that way. What he say? Uh, until recently, and with the immense love and support of my family, my friends, colleagues, and peers, and the courage and sacrifice from my partner, huh? I don't want to feel like I have to think about it anymore. I don't want to feel like I have to lie about who I am seeing or why I'm living with someone else. I want to be vocal and support a people living how they want to live. But I also want to just live and not feel fear about how people will react. Like I said, but what about how the, the Lord, how why you how shy is going to react? Look like he could be Jake.
Maxson went on to say that sharing his journey was made possible by his support system. I wasn't until recently and with the immense love and support of my family, my friends, colleagues, peers, and the courage and sacrifice for my partner that I realized I have the right and responsibility to love and be loved. And that maybe sharing this will hopefully give someone else the strength to accept their own life and take control of their own story. And of course, they go push it. The owner showed his support. As you can see, they, they, they big up in this. So I ain't got nothing to say about that. This brings destruction. It's pushed in every little avenue. The brat just had a baby. Okay, and all this other kind of stuff. And these people are just out here. Okay, with, with no regard of what the Lord wants or anything else. It's funny. It's funny. Everybody, wanted, everybody wants to be deep, but nobody wants to dig. Nobody wants to dig into these scriptures and see what they're really saying and how you're supposed to be trying to live and what you're supposed to be trying to do. Why is that? Why nobody wants to, everybody wants to be deep, but why nobody wants to dig into these scriptures and really get it? Since you don't want to dig, then let, I'm, hey, I'm going to do what the scriptures say do. Let the, let the uh, wicked be wicked still. But for the elect, I hope you realize that if you're in the midst of this, you are blessed. If you have this understanding, you are blessed. Because you have a vision. So, so you don't have to feel yourself perishing when you step out and away from this world and what the fuck it offers. Okay? Because the line is getting ready to be drawn anyway. And if you don't step out, then you're going to be caught up in the mist. So with that, I want to send all praise down and glory out to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bahashem, and Kakodash, to the apostles and elders of GMS out of New York. Uh, I want to send all praises on and glory out to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, and Kakodash, to the apostles and elders of GMS out of New York, apostles down in, uh, down in Naptown, bishops out there, in, uh, elder bishops out in Connecticut, salutations, uh, uh, double honors because they do real well, salutations to the brothers around the world pushing this truth uncut, declaring war on the planet. Hope we let all male and female, and the, and the whole first crew, a hearty shallow warm. But for the two-third Israelites and 17 other nations that want to be part of this, then be part of the destruction that's coming. First group, hearty shallow warm. Second group, a barber ball.